The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Miami Beach, Florida, one half of the Outrunners, Turbo Floyd. Turbo Floyd, one of the youngest men alive, one of the OVW Hall of Famers. I mean, part of the Thursday night delights, Turbo Floyd, but Steve, this might not be a delightful night for Turbo Floyd, because he looks like he's going up against a, a James Lester Lawrence, a bit of an aggressive, vicious Lester Lawrence. Talking about pain. And his opponent from Thunder Island, Mr. Juicy Lustis Lawrence. Speaking of pain, Brian. Goes right to the ring. Look at the no look. fooling around. Not a single hip grind. Lustis Lawrence, a look of focus, a look of determination. They, a look of anger. Look at, I mean, Steve, just think about what Lawrence has to been going through for the past couple days. Not only did he lose his Kentucky Heavyweight Championship to Tony Bizzo at March Mayhem. Oh, God. Well, not only that, it happened on the public stage. The whole world was watching as his love turned on him. Now, I personally have not been hit by a former lover with a sock of rocks, so I might not know 100% how it feels, but, I mean, I have been hit. Now, I Steve, have been hit by I, former I lovers. I know for a fact you've been hit by a lot of things by ex-girlfriends, but look, Luscious Lawrence, you got the, it's not maybe just losing the title, but even losing Haley, it's thinking how long was every kiss a lie? Was every handhold some sort of work to be able to get to that in ultimate end? I mean, and all, unfortunately for Turbo Floyd, who's an incredible competitor, He's in there against a blind Luscious Lawrence who, as you heard, just wants to inflict the pain on someone else that he is feeling on the inside. Well, and you saw in that backstage interview, oh, the God. Outrunners not too pleased about the fact that they were in singles competition tonight, as they are a very notable tag team. Turbo Floyd Understandably so. Backstage there. Wow. Yeah, his little tag team there might be in a bit of trouble. Luscious Lawrence, again, no jokes, no games here today. Strictly business. Lawrence battling out the grief here. Steve trying to, you gotta think maybe Lawrence might be trying to distract himself with violence. I mean, the man's heart, you can tell, broken. We saw him earlier today. No jovialness, no no grinding. We, we saw what happened to Tony Bizzo, who is a spectacular athlete and one of the most focused professional wrestlers there are. Oh. Completely game from that very betrayal from Hollywood Haley J. Well, so maybe there's something in the sauce. Oh. I don't understand. Turbo trying to get something in this matchup, but Lawrence able to get out of the way. Now, Steve, again, with Lawrence, you gotta think, Haley J was in jail. Lawrence got her out of jail, and how foolish must you feel when you think back on the months they spent together again? Was Every, it a lie? Was she using Everything that he it? had done for her very well could Ooh. have been for naught. But at the end of the day right now, he doesn't need to worry about that. He needs to worry about one half of the Outrunners, Turbo Floyd, lighting him up in the corner right now. Steve, you're absolutely right. I mean, Turbo Floyd, fresh off that match with the Briscoes, feeling confident, now wanting to get a big win over the former Kentucky Heavyweight Champion, who clearly not mentally 100%. Oh, here one. we go. Just a one count, Luscious Lawrence again. In a bit of trouble right now, but ultimately in this match has been a completely different wrestler compared to what we're used to seeing. Now, Steve, Turbo Floyd's fresh off winning best spring break tan down in Key West. I mean, what Rightfully if he falls so. that Rightfully so, look up? at it. He's a golden god. I think his light hair makes him look darker, but what if he followed that big win up with a win here over Luscious Lawrence, former Kentucky Heavyweight Champion, oh. one of the best in OVW, one to of the best To not only sport. have one best spring break tan, oh. but to beat the former Kentucky Heavyweight Champion, th that would be monumental for him. I mean, and again, Steve, it's not even just losing the title, how he lost it. It all has to sting in such a way, because when you think about one thing, it, for him, Lawrence has got to cascade into a million other thoughts. And, each of them sting just as much as the previous one. Lawrence is in a bit of trouble here, pulling himself up, willing himself back into this match. He's taking a ton of damage, but refusing to stay down. Oh, Lawrence, ooh, lost in the corner after the Irish whip. Ooh. And both these guys showing a little wear and tear in this matchup. But Steve, again, emotionally, Lawrence has to be torn up, regardless of what physical damage he may take in this matchup. Lawrence. Broken on the inside. Oh, felt like a fool. Nobody home there. Heartbroken. The girl, his his girl, just 
blindsided him, just totally fooled the man. And Steve, you're a guy who gets tricked all the time. Well, you know, the big problem for me in being able to understand what Lawrence is going through is I have neither been loved nor loved another human being. So you see, there's that disconnect that I have. Oh, what, you see that right what hand? What I see here is he needs to focus on the match here. He needs to focus on the outrunner. Now, Steve, the only person you've ever loved really is yourself, and maybe your pug a little bit. Your pug's not gonna betray so You're never gonna understand what Lawrence is going through. Hold on. Lawrence got those feet wrapped around Turbo, but Turbo able to get out. Kick to the midsection there, Lawrence. Oh, off that middle rope! That's a little bit of the token offense that we're used to seeing from Luscious Lawrence. Again, he's been a completely different wrestler. Looking for that one-night stand power slam! Lawrence with a little extra stink on it there. <laughs> Against Here's no grinding, no celebration. Just that look of focus, that look of aggression. Luscious Lawrence, Steve, he's feeling it on the inside, and you're starting to see it come out on the outside.